be real movie reviews with Tommy Hello. and Jules. And right now I'm doing a solo review because this one refuses to watch cartoons, animated films, cartoons, animated films, cartoons, animated children. films. See okay. how she does? See how Water she does? oil, like we said. Right. Yeah. Okay. Let's look anyway. over this cartoon. Let's Somebody go. get her, please. Uh, <laughs> I am reviewing Hotel Transylvania for Transformania. It is on Amazon Prime. And also now it's in theaters. I watched it on Prime a couple weeks ago. I didn't know it was going to come out on theaters. That's in theaters odd later. for it to come to Prime and then go to theaters. I don't think I've ever seen that happen. Have you? I don't recall. That's awkward. Happening. I wonder why they did Good that. Good for them. You know, get that money. Get that shit. But usually goes to theaters and then get after, you know what I mean? Because the theaters make usually generate more money. Yeah. So if I got a family of four and I'm going to the movies, I'm spending more money than, you know, watching it at home. But that's, that's I'm curious. I'm going to have to look that up why they did that. Well, okay. I'm sure it's so this is the one. fourth one. So this is fourth a... One. Okay. It's rated PG, of course. Mm -hmm. And uh, it stars Brian Hull as Dracula mm -hmm. this time. Uh, Andy Samberg as Jonathan. Selena Gomez is back as Mavis. Catherine Hahn is Erica. I love her. Me I too. freaking love... She is hilarious. I just she love her. She is. Very. <laughs> yeah. um, Jim Gaffigan as Van Helsing. I love him too. He's mm -hmm. a great actor. And Steve Buscemi, I mean, love him. I wonder, I, and I didn't look this up, I just thought about this now. If you put how many movies he's mm -hmm. been in up against uh, Samuel L. Jackson. Oh, you, 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 you tread waters there, there. And Nicolas Cage, you tread water. Yeah. How, Are you who, serious for who real? Who has the most? Because he's been in a lot of stuff. And styles. I bet you people don't know his name. Most people don't know his name. He has his face. And yeah. he can play these weird characters so good because yeah. he just has a natural face for weirdness. But I love him. Yeah. Love him. Great. He has a great voice, too. So I, I do love his voice. I wonder who's done the most. Somebody tells me. Between we Samuel that, L. Jackson. Maybe we should make that a trivia some kind question? of trivia question. We'll have to do that. Who's, who's done the most between Samuel L. Jackson, uh, Nicolas Cage, and Steve here? But they, they that's a close race. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Molly Shannon as Wanda. She's freaking hilarious. I love yeah. her. David Spade as Griffin. And one of my favorites, Keegan-Michael Key. From Key and Peele. <laughs> yeah, he plays yes. Murray. All right. So what's going on in the fourth one? With the hotel trust, right? So yeah. for this fourth one, I'm gonna read what Sony Pictures wrote. Okay. Per Sony Pictures. Okay. Yeah, per Sony Pictures. No when Ben really. Helsing's mysterious invention, the monsterfication ray, goes haywire, Jack and his monster pals are all transformed into humans <gasps> and Johnny becomes a monster. In their mismatched bodies, Jack Jack, stripped of his powers, and the exuberant Johnny, loving life as a monster must team up and race across the globe to find a cure before it's too late and before they drive each other crazy. Yeah. With the help of Mavis and the hilariously human uh, drag pack, the heat is on to find the way to switch themselves back before their transformations become permanent. Oh, so they don't want to be human. So what are they trying to say? They want to be monsters still. They were monsters. They got changed to humans. They like themselves. That's what they're saying. They, they want to be the way that they were. They don't want to change. I don't know. Maybe I probably want to just be a monster too. Maybe, maybe, I come in maybe, I mean, right. I maybe, maybe I do need to watch this because I think, I, you know what, with the way the world's going, you know, there's going to be walkers and zombies pretty soon. Maybe I just want to be a monster. Johnny was loving it. He was digging it. Love, love yourself. You know, yeah. I like my weirdness. I enjoy that. So, you know what? I probably should watch it. I think I might be feeling them. You should check they it sure out. They sure don't want to be human. I <laughs> so. <actually laughs> check so I really enjoyed this one. Huh. It's fun. You know, if you've seen the other hotel Transylvanias, it's just along those lines. So you're still going to get that same fun and, mm -hmm. and excitement and some lessons, you know, about being in somebody else's shoes and all that, you know, good lesson. change and everything yes. like that. Are there extra scenes? No, there's no extra scenes. Uh, here's some notes that I got from IMDb. The only original actors, because I was thinking about this too, uh, mm -hmm. you know, Drac used to be played by, by uh, someone else. And I was like, who is this Brian Hall? So... But Adam Sandler okay. used to play him. He used to do it all. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So it says the only original actors that are involved in all four Hotel Transylvania films are Selena Gomez, Andy Samberg, Steve Buscemi, David Spade, Fran Drescher, and Molly Shannon. <laughs> Fran Drescher. <laughs> Adam Sandler, Kev Kevin James, and Sandler's daughter, <laughs> Sadie Sandler, were in the first three films before they were replaced by Brian, Brian Hull, Brad Abro, and Zoe Berry in this film. And CeeLo Green was, the, was in the first film. <laughs> before he was replaced by Keegan-Michael Key 
in all three sequels. He has a funny voice too, though. CeeLo mm-hmm. does. <laughs> I like him. I couldn't tell the difference. He sounds really? a lot like him. Yeah, he, mm-hmm. yeah, he does a good impression. Okay. The first Hotel Transylvania film to not feature Adam Sandler as Dracula. Instead, Dracula is voiced by Brian Hull, who's also voiced the character in Monster Pets, a Hotel Transylvania short film. Did you see that one? No, I did not even. I've never I know it exists. Did you know it never, existed? I didn't know it existed. I'm not see? that far into it. Learn see, I watch these because they come out to the movie theaters, uh-huh. so that's why I watch these. Uh, Sony Pictures Animations first, and Columbia Pictures second. Amazon Studios exclusive film, so maybe that's why it came out. I was out just about to say maybe Prime not. Maybe that answered our question. And then went to the theaters because they're like, it's our film. We can Shoot. put it out. Where you we want. own it. We can do whatever we want. Makes now that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Okay. And I like that um, all these different platforms are doing doing their own movies. They don't have to go negotiate with anybody yep. and all that stuff. And plus, it's giving more people work. It's giving directors. Yep. It's giving actors. It's giving behind the scenes. Everybody gets more work. So I'm, I'm totally loving. And Speaking I love watching that, originals, especially on Amazon. Netflix is raising their rates. I heard that. And I, mm-hmm. what the, what the, but it, what, isn't it kind of a but, steep hike? It, what's it, like two, th- two or three dollars or something a month? But they're also, you know, what they got Shonda Rhimes now. She can do whatever she wants. She's making all kinds of shows yeah, for great. Netflix. They yeah. hired her. Okay. Uh, Tyler Perry's got his thing. Oh, the Medea just came up. They are hiring. <laughs> We're going to do that movie. Yeah, they are making so many, so much original content yeah. for Netflix. That's where they got to get that money back. Yeah. And plus, stuff. we knew stuff was going to start going up after, you know, the whole pandemic thing. And stuff is inching up a little by little like some places yeah. i'll see something must have went up 50 cents like the dollar store people are like why yeah. is it like a dollar 50 that's a dollar store i'm like i don't care about the extra 50 cents there's nothing major that i'm getting out of here anyways 25 cents um i went to when it was a dollar 50. Oh, yeah okay. but there i see inflation in some places like yeah. some of the fast food places you might see a 50 per 50 cents increase but yeah it's, it's nothing major and a lot of it is nothing that i have to have yeah. to live so yeah you know, I, we, we get it. Yeah. They're we like, after, what's it? I forgot how many years, many years in business, uh, mm-hmm. Dollar Tree, they're like, we hated to do this, but <laughs> yeah. with the cost of shipping and, and <laughs> the cost of things going up, you know, that's why they had to raise their prices. They, they could just go ahead and say it and quit beating around the bush. We know why you raise the prices. Just, <laughs> we get it, but okay. Because <laughs> you want to. Yeah, exactly. uh, but I'm going to go ahead and give this. I mean, this how many copies? It was good. It was fun. I'm still going to give it three for sure. But if you have little ones, I'm sure that they're going to just dig it. They're going to love it Mm -hmm. and enjoy it a lot. I enjoyed it a lot, but I mean, we're on number four. Mm -hmm. That's a lot (laughs) of them. I'm I'm guessing they do great. Like, did you watch all the other ones? Yeah, I've seen all of them. So did you like this one the best or is it just kind of? No, I didn't like this one the best, but I liked it fine. I liked it fine. Was it my favorite of them all? No. Is the storyline the same in them or they're just totally different? No, it's totally different oh, okay. storylines. Okay. Yeah, like this one, Johnny became a monster because of the monsterfication ring. And who made up monsterfication? <laughs> Sony, Is that even a word? Sony Pictures made it up. Like holleration and hateration and dancery. Look, it's monsterfication. If somebody can tell me what a dancery is. <laughs> You know, maybe that should be a trivia. Question. I can see it in my head. I'm going to tell you what I this. I am a huge Mary J. Blige fan, but when she came out singing about holleration and in this dancery, in this dancery, I mean, I think what I stopped on the dance floor. Like, this. what in the entire? <laughs> she like, is this is the dancery? Going like, no hateration, so holleration in here, that is or mystification? And I still love Mary J. Blige, and I still listen to all her music <laughs> except for that song because that is corny. When you can make, hey, Shakespeare made up his own words, so you know what? Everybody else can do it, too, if they want to. And <laughs> look, that was a big hit for Mary, so who am I? You know what I'm saying? I review movies. Not it's, it was funny. I, I think everybody got a kick out of that, though, when that song came out. I still do, but... I mean, the beat was okay, you know? I mean, it was kind of, you know... Yeah. It's a, it's a dance. It's definitely a dance floor it's, song. It's, it's kind of dance Get up there and do your two-step and boots like Mary J. It's Dr. Dre sound, but... You know, I like her other songs way better. <laughs> that, I just do. Well, monstrification is now in the dictionary or whatever. We can now say monstrification. Because and now we need to get one for you it. because you want to be a monster. <laughs> so you can fight those zombies. That's what you said earlier. Oh, I'm good. At the zo- I'm going to be great at zombies. So but if y'all need you know, some help, down, you know. You know, it's a nice, beautiful Saturday <laughs> day, whatever Sunday. Something for them whatever to enjoy. Whatever day. Any day. I don't know. Sit I don't down, have her snacks. Let them sit down and watch Hotel Let Transylvania watch Hotel while you go Spania. take care of other stuff in the house. Yeah. And keep entertained. Keep me entertained. All right. Or as adults, you you too can watch it you too. I watched it. Okay. I, I enjoyed it. 
There's you know have that. to get her to watch at least one animation animated film. I need the children because here. Because I watched Tragedy of Macbeth. That's a movie for her. That didn't I watch it in France. Let These are that. movies as well. It's she it's has a to watch at least one animated film. I will do Somebody one. Okay, I will do one. I will do one. <laughs> Nobody, none of them requested a cartoon. Yeah. I'll do one. Okay. Okay. I'll do the next one that comes out. I'll do your next cartoon. And matter of fact, what about the G-rated film. cartoons? Do they not exist anymore? It's rare. Mm. Because sometimes the storylines, you know, these kids are a little bit more sophisticated now. True, so true, it, true. So if the storylines are a little bit uh, possibly complicated or have something. They got to put that PG in You know, in a little there. bit, yeah. Parental they, guidance. They want the parents to watch it with them. And that makes sense. Questions. But I mean, most kids could take it. So, yeah. yeah, trust me, a kid, yeah. they can pick up tablets and phones and work them better than oh, yeah. us. So, yeah. But G, has, G is baby, baby. Is. Yeah. Now, if you said it's a cartoon because it's G, I, I would probably have to go with you <laughs> on that and then not argue. Or wait yeah. for the kids to come and then yeah. watch it when your niece and nephews the are coming. G's are baby. That is yeah. for the two year olds. Yeah, two year olds and stuff. <laughs> that they can learn the ABCs and all yeah, that stuff. Yeah, <laughs> that is baby, baby ish. <laughs> <laughs> well, we want to thank you very, very much for tuning in to Hotel Transylvania thank 4. You. As you see, she does recommend highly watching it, whether yeah, it's an adult it. or kids. Yeah. And don't forget, we are on Facebook. We are on YouTube. We are on Instagram. Like, subscribe, request movies. It doesn't matter which genre, even if it's a cartoon. Yep. I will watch it. We will watch it. We are it. also we on Cash App. Shout you out. <laughs> and you just put that dollar sign and mm -hmm. put gotta be, be real, real, spell real, R-E-E-L. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, nations. Prime Video and Hulu and, they and go the movie theaters and all that stuff. And actually, I just got a notice from Amazon Prime that it is going up. Like I want to say a dollar. I kid you not. Oh. But it's only like a dollar or something. But uh -huh. it's... Yeah, but do what you're gonna do. Up, so what are you gonna could, do? We could use your help, you know. You yeah. wanna just throw us like a dollar or two? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Don't lowball. Listen. <laughs> no, we really would appreciate it. Anything. If anything that is perfectly fine. We appreciate you just watching yeah. the show or you know, chatting with us. Yeah. Let us know if you ever see something and you don't agree with it, tell us. Yeah. There are times when somebody tells me something, I'm like Never even thought about it that Hashtag way. Hashtag cartoons yes. versus animated films. Yeah, we want to agree on that one, but okay. <laughs> it's animated film. These films go up for Oscars and stuff. Maybe not their own category. Four, but some other animated films go up right. for animated films. Some even win in regular categories, especially like for the soundtrack and stuff. Tell me Encanto is not going to be at the freaking Oscars. I heard a lot of adults talking they, about Encanto that they actually really liked it. They're playing a lot of adults. Don't talk about Bruno on Power, uh, not Power, on uh, Kiss FM. See, yeah, I'm telling you, you like so, third, actually like probably third or fourth person that adult that talked about how much they love it. Did you watch Encanto? Nope. No. Mm -mm. Why? Because it's a cartoon. It's an I animated need my film, here. and it will be up for awards. Oh, and by the way, when things go up for awards or they get the nods, you know, they're placed. I watch all of that, even movies, because if something got a nod, I need to see it. It's still a movie. So I do that. She, 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 I'm just saying. I'm just letting you know that even movies like that when it goes if it goes and gets a nod stuff that gets a nod um once the awards are over or whatnot i'll usually start picking up and start watching some of them because i want to see what you know i don't see every single thing that comes out so i want to see what made it oscar worthy you know or even getting a nod is a nod is yeah phenomenal. i don't see everything that comes out so like i didn't yeah. really watch that uh was that 10 billboards outside of Ebbing, Missouri. Jacksonville no, Missouri. that jacksonville was ending missouri you are way <laughs> No, but that's... I know oh, where it is. I'm her, her perform it, the movie itself was okay, but her performance was phenomenal. And I she saw, deserved I saw like Gosh, half of great. it. I saw like, because I bumped into uh, it. I was flipping uh -huh. channels. I caught the last half and it was good, but the title is just stupid. The me. title it's is long. long, but now we got the one on Netflix, something about the woman across the street from the girl. Yeah, but the that, that's, because it's a, that's because it's a satire. Let me set people straight on this. It's supposed to be like making fun of those. And mm -hmm. I actually did watch it and it actually was good. I watched a few good. episodes and she yeah, it was good. Fun. She's But the name is just it's a joke. It's a play. Like I can't even say it. I'll read it and then if I walk away, I can't say it again. Just like saying Worcester Shire. Why? Why is that so long? Was there any reason for that? No. And then the one that um, Zac Efron did where he played Ted Bundy. It was something like disgustingly oh, yeah, vile. vile. What? That was, that Why was did you wait that so long and ridiculous? That we was get ridiculous. It. And y'all didn't even show the real Ted Bundy. You kind of, it kind of put a little sugar coat on there, but he was vicious. But anyway, we're talking about <laughs> titles that are ridiculously long and don't make any sense. And I don't even remember. That I, is, I'm, okay, a, I'm that's a, legitimate, legitimately <laughs> ridiculously long, right? But the girl, the woman in the, in the living room, 
outside of the, you know. It's something okay, down the street across that, the corner. That is because they're naming it after an actual movie and they're talking about the woman that's in the window across the street. from the girl the- down the... <laughs> I don't even know where she's at anymore. I don't know if the woman's in a window or she down the street. I don't know. I just, you know what? I, I watched three episodes and I, I kind of want to get into it, but it's making me mad. The title is just making me mad. I can't even tell you what the just title is. Just watch it. Okay, the woman's in the house. She's, we were off topic. Yeah, let's, so we, 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 it's, it's cool. I watched a few episodes and it's okay. We're just laughing about the titles right now. That's that's all we're saying. So. It's a good show, though. You'll you'll like it because it's like psychological thriller. Yeah. There's some killing. I, I could I could see with so. Kristen Bell that she had something a little. Oh, off. she's hilarious. Yeah, something she's going great. on there. But anyway, okay. But thank you very much for listening to us rant after we you know did Hotel Transylvania four again. Yeah. Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Cash App. Let us know what you want to see. We'll shout you out. We'll do your movie. We don't care if it's a cartoon or animated series or movies. We don't care. We'll do it. Just let us know. All right. <laughs> see you later. Thanks for tuning in. Bye bye. Bye bye. But if it's a cartoon, Tommy's not watching it.